Hello there. So uh, it's been a while. I'm, I've just been really, really busy. Um, yeah, we got the new toys. I've been working hard to learn that uh, Fusion 360. And uh, so this is our first drawing. Oh, the lights were terrible. This is our first drawing that we did. And uh, me and my lady did that this morning on uh, Fusion 360. And uh, then I came out here and I set her up on the old Arc Droid. And we're about to do our first cut. And uh, so we'll see how that goes. Also, check this out. I got my lathe here, guys. This thing is 136 years old. And uh, it still works like a charm. So uh, I'm super stoked on that. Super stoked on that. So, uh, yeah, check that old baby out, eh? Beautiful. Okay, so, over here, let's see what happens. Uh, like I said, I think that I might have set my torch height wrong. Oh, you know what? I might be able to go here and, and uh, adjust it. Um... Okay, so now we're gonna go with torch and we're gonna go run. I definitely have the uh, height set too high. Okay, so it dropped out. We're gonna come over here, and this raises the uh, torch head. We're gonna get it out of the way. Then we're gonna go to home. This thing's just gonna find it zero. Okay, and now we're gonna check to see what we did, because I see we made some kind of mistake here. Uh, oh, he's the old Leatherman, the old Leatherman. Okay, so I had a cut, I had a lead in on the wrong, this is the first time I ever programmed one of these, so this is, uh, this is real world learning. I'm not a master of this. Oh, look, the cats, the cats and the cut heart cut out perfect, but I cut them out of the stock, and I wasn't. I don't know what I've done wrong here. Oh, look. Okay, so there's a weird piece. Whoops. Move that out of the way. There's a weird piece here. Now, I must have had that hidden in the code. And one of the videos I watched warned to, to highlight everything to see if there was any nodes any nodes that got forgotten. So I'm guessing that's 100% uh, my fault. The heart actually cut out like really clean though. Here's the heart over here. The three little hearts now, I didn't have my torch height set right. I 
I knew that. I was sure of that. As soon as I set it up, I was like, oh, that could be better. So that's height control there. That's why those are washed out a bit. And the cats, I don't know. I don't know why it clipped into here so much. Like, I'm guessing that's user error from the way I set up the kerf of the cut. Um, so, this is just a learning curve, but uh, this is real world, eh? Like, when you, when you buy a new gadget like this Arcdroid, and you don't know CNC, CAD, and all that stuff, you have to learn. So, I just bought this thing, and uh, I sat on at home and I watched YouTube videos, and just, I kept learning and practicing. And I'm close, I just didn't, I laid out this a little too tight to these edges. And so my kerf just cut, cut his bum off a bit. And this is wrong, I, I should have had this start up over here, cut down and over. So, that's how it goes, that's, uh, I'm really stoked though, eh? That's my first, first cut. No, I was going to make something off-road related, but my lady, she loves cats. And uh, so do I, truth be known. I, I love my cats. And so cats it is. So, uh, yeah. Look at how nice that cut, though. Hey. This is user error. That's user error. The definition is actually really good, but it will be better because I had the torch height set wrong. So, man, just uh, what a winning little machine, eh? Woohoo! Oh, I had his lead in a little bit long too. That should've been a little shorter. Okay, well, I learned a lot from this. We're gonna uh, take this home and uh, work with the drawing a little bit, change it around and and then uh, learn from it. But we got her working. Hey, the Arcroid's officially cutting. I'm running it off of uh, one of those cheap um, Amazon uh, deals. It was the Lotus uh, non-pilot arc. Non-pilot arc. I don't know if you noticed in the video, but it had pilot arc. We converted this so that it had pilot arc. That's what this brown cable here is. We just, this brown wire tricks it into thinking that it's just been touched down to the steel and it lights up. Uh, I'll do a video on that actually. You guys might want to know that. Uh, Cause this works for most, most CNC's I bet. Most, and most uh, non-pilot arc machines. So I'll do a video on that guy.